What up, everybody? Mackie B, Mackie B Outdoors. Today's gonna be a little something different. As you can see, I got on my Trout War hat. You can only get these hats over at a Red Hook Adventure, so check them out. But, you know, when I'm going fishing, I like to get all into it. You know, I get on my bass gear, I'm going for bass, I get on my trout stuff. So you know we're going for trout. We're gonna head up to Lake McClure. They put in 150,000 pounds. Yeah, that's right, 150,000 pounds of trout into this lake, I think last week, like four days ago. So I'm gonna get up there and try to get some of these trout. They have six trophy trout that are tagged. Um, I'm assuming the tags are money, they usually are, like $500 or $1,000. That would be cool to get a tag, but although I got high hopes, I'm kind of realistic. So we're not really gonna be trying to get a tag, but I will be trying to catch some trout. Today I'm gonna be trolling. I have a new battery. It's called a, what's this thing? A VMAX or something? Yeah, I think it's like a VMAX. I don't know, I'll show you guys the battery at the dock. These batteries freaking kick ass, right? So my buddy had one and he was going all day. I'm running through two batteries. I mean, I'm running through two other batteries. He's still on like 85% charge on this. So we're gonna get up right and see how long we control around the lake. You know I got my live well, I got my fish finder, I got my feather app. As you can see, we're following Elias up to the lake. He's going up there too. Like I was saying, the battery just died, so I got my I got my live well in the back. See so the thing is when you're trout fishing, is you're not actually allowed to keep trout alive on the boat or on a stringer with you on the boat. For some reason, well, I have an idea of the reason and the game board has told me that it's pretty much, that's the reason. The reason being that you're not allowed to keep live trout on the stringer or on the boat with you in California is because people have been taking these trout and re-rigging them as bait and using them to catch the giant bass in the lakes. So. Even though I have my live well, we are not going to keep any of the trout alive, the ones we do plan on keeping. Mind you, we are going for food, so we are going to be keeping fish. So, yeah, just to give you guys a heads up, don't keep trout in your live wells and don't keep them in a basket towing them around in your boat because you will get in trouble. And it's not really up to fishing game to make sure that you know the laws, it's up to you to make sure that you know the law. You know what I mean? So. Heads up guys, I know trout season's just starting at the lakes. As you can see from a couple of my videos, we've been accidentally slamming them early. But heads up, you gotta know the laws because if not, you're gonna get a ticket. There's no arguing, there's no telling them, I didn't know, trust me. I've been there, I got my ticket. Everybody's gonna get a ticket. Best thing to do is go get that little book at Walmart that has your little fishing, you know, rules in it. You can also go to the California Department of Fishing Game website and download the PDF for you. Mind you, in California, we are split up into different areas. So the rules aren't gonna be the same for every area. And a lot of these times, these rules are going from highways and these boundaries are set by the highways. So we're fishing the Central Valley District, which is pretty cool. You know, it's not, it's not as much as say, the coastal district, as far as bait-wise usage allowed, but we still get to use a lot of nice stuff. But today we're going to be using plastics. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on the rules and the laws on the trout at the lake. So yeah, I can't keep live ones, guys. Sorry. I would love to keep trout alive and alive well and throw back small ones and catch bigger ones all day, but that's just not how it works. All right, see you guys at the lake. All right, guys, here it is, the feather raft. If you're not taking a stupid amount of gear, you're not on a raft. But yeah, so that battery is a VMAX. There it is. We're we'll running this bad boy and seeing how it works. On the Minn Kota 40 pounder. See how long we can get out of this battery. So we're gonna get out here and try to slay some of these trout. Hopefully get a kokanee. Who knows what's gonna happen. All right, guys, see you on the water with a fish. 
All right, check this thing out, dude. This little brush thing right here from uh, Yacht Gear, right? Brush clip. Well, I use it as a leash right now, not to let my raft go nowhere. So it works pretty cool for either thing, I guess. Whatever you want to do. All right, let's get up on here and get out of here. Shove her off. There we go. All right, we out of here. We outies. All right, guys, 5.17 is what time we're trolling on that VMAX. I'm going to stick with number, number three. Because, let me see. On number three, that's going to keep me at about two miles an hour. So we're going to stay with number three. And we're going to play with it. See how long this battery lasts. Like I said, it's 520 almost. All right, Elias is hooked up on something. He doesn't know what it is yet. Oh, it might be a bass. It might be a bass. Oh yeah. Pulling them crankbaits and trout, catching bass. That's a nice one. On the feather ass, trolling. I hooked up to a little bass too. Look at that little guy. I turned around, my freaking rod was hanging off my deck almost in the water. I don't even know how the hell I still had it. Good thing, too. Go home, little guy. So far, we ran the wall. Nothing but bass hooked up. I felt a couple trout bites, but they came off. The guys on the bank are doing pretty good with power bait. They got a few trout. So I'm about to head across the lake, I think, and see what I can get on the other wall. If not, just stay in the middle. Who knows? Who knows how this is going to work? That's the fun part about fishing. We figure it out as we go. Alright guys, stay tuned for more fish. Alright, I got one I think. Yeah, oh no, he got off. He got off! Eli just hooked up again. We're just trolling side by side with each other. And he uh, managed to get one. So here it is, guys, the log. In the middle of the lake. In the middle of the lake, he got a bass on his trout rod. Yes, sir. Hooked up. He was casting at the bank with his crankbait. And he's hooked up to something over there. Oh, a nice one. Looks like a bass. What is it? The fish spit up a shad, apparently. Yeah, it's a bass. Lots of bass out here, McClure. I got to do so. I was reeling this one in just to check it right now. And I actually hooked up to a fish reeling it in to check on it. And it's a trout. There it is. First trout in the boat, guys. First trout in the boat. I got him. He's in my bucket. First trout in the boat. But he's little. He might go back. I don't know. If he doesn't make it, he's... yeah, he's, he's going home. He's not going to make it. I don't want him to go. He's going to die. So I just hooked into one trout. Hooked into one trout. Elias just hooked into something right now too. Oh, 
He's staying down. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. No, it's not. It's a bass. I tricked everybody. Hooked up again. And we'll slow down the trolling motor so we don't lose them this time. Find with some less drag too so we don't lose them. Who are you feeling? I don't know what it is. Oh, it might be a might be a bad. I don't know, he's giving me some good strong head shake right there. Oh, it's another trout. Yes sir, another trout. That's two trout in the boat. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, well, one trout off the boat. Elias is hooked up to some over there again. Little bass. <laughs> Here we are, I'm hooked up to another one. Well, I was. We'll find out if I still am. Oh, yeah, there he is, a little guy. Let him shake off. Come on, get up, go. You're not even. Come on, there you go. We don't want the little guys. The one that hopped up the boat a minute ago, he would have been nice to have. Oh, I should have checked him for a tag still. Whoops. I think I got a good one. Dang. There's just no stopping this boat. Oh yeah, where's my net? I'm getting my net for this guy. What is it? Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass! Nothing special, just a bass! Damn bycatch! Elias is hooked up again. He got a trout that time. Nice. The sun's going down, but the trout, the bite has not stopped. We're in the middle of the lake, and he just hooked a bass. I mean, look at we're in the middle of the lake, right? And he hook a bass, going for trout. Everything's out here. All right, guys, calling it a day. The battery lasted. It's 10:30. We're still able to push three miles an hour. We'll check the charge when I get home. But that's pretty good so far. All right, guys, we're back from the mission at the lake. So. Spent a good five, five and a half hours in the water. I said I was going to stay on number three the whole time. Honestly, it went from four and five the whole time a lot because once we went around the corners, a lot of wind. So I ran that battery pretty hard today for that five and a half hours. Let's see what kind of charge we got. Here's the moment of truth, right? Push that button. Let's see what happens. We're running at 12.1. Let's go ahead and turn that bad boy on and see what happens. What kind of charge do we got on the battery? Mind you, I was running at like four and five. Killed it halfway. That's about where you want to be anyway. So I can get five and a half hours trolling hard at like three miles an hour. Because honestly, that's what I was really trolling at on number four and five was about two and a half, three miles an hour. That wind didn't make it feel like it, but I was. So there it is, guys. That's the VMAX Tanks Marine. I had this one lined up on my uh, trolling motor. Or not my trolling motor, but my uh, fish finder and my live well. And then we got the old DECA. But the old deck is going to have to get some work on tomorrow. And 
that bad boy back to life. My little charging station. 